This first one is going to inspire you and then some. So sometimes there are things that happen, illnesses that suddenly disappear, that have no scientific explanation. Our next guests have seen this for themselves. Dr. Nimi and his patient Charlene Kalo are joining us today on It's About You. And uh, first and foremost, thank you for being here today. It's my pleasure. Well, Dr. Nimi, we go way back, and I have a personal story with you. I'm going to post it on social later because it's not about me today, but I have experienced myself firsthand uh, the power of your healing, and it is quite amazing. So for those that, you know, aren't familiar, Dr. Nimi is a physician, a man of science, but you, you go above and beyond that. Can you, can you talk about this? Yeah, the science came about... Uh as a result of us connecting with people on Skype. So we started noticing that there were signals uh, coming in during the time when people were experiencing the healing. And so there was a NASA scientist, a head scientist, and we started to work together to investigate uh, what was going on. You know. And uh, we documented that, and we have a paper, actually, I'm gonna post it pretty soon, about the subject. The science of it is very, very advanced. Um, uh, advanced in such a way it pertains to the, the quantum field itself. Yeah. And um, the connection with the, with the, uh, uh, the consciousness, it, and, and we have the evidence uh, that could point towards that, and uh, a lot of other things that are very exciting uh, and, for the near future. And doctor, you quite literally incorporate faith into your healing. Can you discuss that a little bit? Yes, I cannot separate uh, science from spirituality. Um, there are a lot of things that point towards that. Uh, the whole uh, creation is about consciousness manifesting itself. And we have many examples, actually, even from nature, um, uh, that point towards that part. Uh, I cannot separate uh, uh, the spirituality from, from the science. Charlene. Yeah. All right. So do you feel comfortable talking about your story and, and how everything happened for you? I am comfortable because, you know what, Holly, it's not about me. Uh, this, my experience, you know, a story somehow doesn't work. That word doesn't work, story. I get it. But I will tell you, what I did have was a very sacred experience. I had a very, very sacred experience and... You were going into surgery. I was on the table. I, I was in surgery. And what was wrong and what happened? I had a um, prolapsed bladder, but it was very complicated because I had had a skiing accident when I was in college. That com complicated everything. Um, I was very fortunate, not just to have Dr. Namey, but a prayerful, spiritual female surgeon who had called me in days before the surgery. She was dressed in street clothes, and she said to me, I want you to know. I said, well, you know, you're all dressed up. And she goes, well, I'm not, I'm not here today. I came in to talk to you. Yeah. And she said, you know, you are in a situation for which if something happens here, it's on me, Charlene. It's on me. If something happens, it's on me. And I didn't quite understand, you know, but I thought, well, it, it, with, with all of her physician authority, there's still one above you. So I said to her, you know, really not, doctor. It's not on you. It's really not on you. And um, she'll take, she said, I'll take full responsibility. And I said, well, you know what? Um, it's really not on you. It's really, it's all really about God and what what his plan is for me. And she said, still, I'll do my very best. So that little conversation was a trigger, mm -hmm. you know, to say there was going to be trouble here. What happened between you and Dr. Namey? Uh, the night before the surgery, I stopped that evening and I asked him if he would pray for me. And unusually, you know, he's never there alone. There's always a patient or very many waiting. There wasn't that night. And he took me into the inner office and I told him what was going to happen. My experience with Dr. Namey is always that I would walk past him and he'd say, well, you know, you're going to have and you, you better come and you better. But I had been to all the healing services and he didn't say anything. So I thought, oh, maybe this is just not one of those things and I'm going to have to take the other avenue. So she said to me, so that 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 evening when I went in for prayer, yeah. even after all she said to me, he said to me, oh no, oh no, 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 no. 
this is a very, very dangerous situation for you. No, Charlene, you, this is really, really serious and really dangerous. And I thought, you know, well, what am I going to do here? So, of course, you know, he started to pray. And then the heat, and not just the heat, but like tumbling, like in a dryer, like oh, your insides I, are in the dryer. I've been there. Yeah, that, that <laughs> kind of thing. And um, I thanked him, walked out of the office, and that tumbling and the pooling and everything continued all through, pretty much through the night. Um, before midnight, I called Kathy and said, something's going on here, a lot's going on here, but what am I gonna do about the morning? She said, just keep praying, just keep praying. So the next day, I went to the hospital, and there are so many layers to this experience, but they all yeah. connect, they all connect. So I would tell you that my experience was about two wonderful, healing physicians on the same spiritual plane doing the very best that if medicine were all connected on all levels, that's what I had going for me. That's really what happened to me. Mm. Two wonderful physicians doing all that they could, both believing in God and the courage, the courage of my physician to say at the end of this road, this woman's body, I declare to all who are present, this woman's body is no longer the body for which I recommended surgery. And you know, I just have to say, this is not a singular occurrence. And we can, we can literally do a whole show with you as mm -hmm. you're aware, mm -hmm. knowing Dr. Mm -hmm. Nemi. But I wanna give you all the information so that you can get in touch yourself. And it's pathtofaith.com. You are such a special blessing to this world. Thank you for everything that you do. And God bless you. Thanks, I'm Holly. so happy Thank that you. you shared with us today. <clears throat> Thank and, you. And uh, I'm gonna share on social media too because I've yeah. got a little story myself, but uh, beautiful. It makes me cry. Oh, I have goosebumps yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. That was beautiful. This segment of It's About You was furnished by Path to Faith.